Hello Treasure Tribe. Welcome into my channel. You are in Mrs. T's Treasures on YouTube and we're also on Instagram. Thank you for stopping by. I've got a few items that I'm getting ready to list in our eBay store and I've got them all drafted and ready to start putting details in. So I thought I'd go ahead and real quick do a video of the items that um, are prepared to go into the eBay store. Said, oh, and I wanted to show you a couple of items that I've just listed that are pretty cool. So, okay, let's get into it. Thanks for watching. Okay, welcome back. So, these are a couple of items that I've got listed in our store currently. Just finished up with these listings yesterday. Look at how pretty these are. I just love them. They're so vibrant, vibrant little butterflies, unmarked, but they are just so lovely. Just so lovely. I was, I fell in love with them and they're in beautiful condition. And this is the number. So in my eBay store, you can search this number. Here is a jewelry set, earrings and necklace to match. And if you're familiar with this brand, then you know this blue foam is a familiar, familiar vehicle. Vehicle? I guess that's the right word. But this is a, this is an Avon piece. Avon. And this is actually, the set is called Heirloom Topaz Color Pendant Gift Set. And what's really cool after looking around online, I didn't see anybody with this, but there's an extender. I I attached that to the actual necklace itself so it wouldn't get lost in the shuffle, so it wouldn't get lost in the box or anything. But aren't these pretty? I just love this. And the earrings aren't terribly large or anything, so they don't take up a lot. You know, they're not, they're not like gaudy or anything but oh I just, I just really like the colors here look at how pretty they are really really gorgeous and then over here I just finished listing this piece this is signed Rodolfo Flores I'm really not sure about the artist I couldn't find too much about him and um what I did find is this is um Mexican artwork and it's on a bark paper um, I didn't take it apart though um, here's the back here and it was it belonged to somebody a certificate of authenticity authenticity <laughs> so I've got all that uh, pictured in my store but I just really thought this was so interesting just such an interesting piece and it was in really nice condition so yeah so this is all listed these three items I just finished up a batch of listings and these were my last three items that I listed and oh and this is very interesting somebody had asked me about this particular bangle that I have in my store and they wanted to know what kind of silver it was it because it's not marked 925 it's marked mexican something i can't remember without taking it out and getting my loop and everything but it's mexican silver or something like that and uh, it's really quite lovely and is actually silver because i it's not magnetic if i recall and it is tarnishing somewhat um, but I don't usually clean stuff like that because it can take away from the piece for the buyer. I tried putting it on my wrist, but my hand is way too big. So I did not keep this. But anyway, I just thought I'd show that to you because it was in my basket. I use this basket. I fill it up with the pieces that are done being listed and then I take them back on my walker <laughs> to where I store everything where I warehouse everything and put them in their appropriate places so yeah 
anyway okay so i'm gonna get the other items out that are getting ready to be listed and get you show show oh boy i can't talk very well today get those shown to you um, in this video okay well as you can see there is a lot to see <laughs> so let's start with the bigger items here um this is a reference book and actually it's it's cut it's reprinted 1984 um i wanted to um rewrite the listing and i needed to re-photograph it so this is actually something that was redone but it's actually quite a nice book beautiful book um this is interesting it just really stood out to me oh sorry about my flash bulb there but um it really stood out to me um it i believe it's a print is it signed i don't think so but it is a print it's lovely and um there's some information back here regarding it certificate of authenticity it's ink stamped 2000 so I, i'm not really sure much about it i didn't really take the time to read through this thomas kincaid artist thomas kincaid does sound familiar to me so maybe this this is probably just a reprint of one of his works but it's so pretty and it's just such a lovely little size and the frame is so cool so i picked it up and you know if it doesn't go in ebay i thought it was small enough for ebay but if it doesn't go in ebay i can always put it in our booth as well okay let's move on to the sparkles so yes it's christmas time in Ohio <laughs> not really but aren't these pretty I just couldn't resist these little Christmas bows simple post piercing just so cute this is something from my own treasure house this is a um, garment clip you know women would wear these on their sweaters um, to keep them closed and um, it's very decorative and I believe it's marked gold on the back um, I looked at it for a moment but it, it's not like 24 karat gold nothing like that it's a lower end maybe 12 or 14 karat something along those lines um, very cute little guy couldn't not resist him he almost looks like there's rhinestones on him certain ways the light hits them looks like there's rhinestones on them but there's not i think there's one little gemstone in his eye whether it's a real gemstone or not i don't know i do not have a gem tester gemstone tester so someday i should probably put it on a wish list or something <laughs> and this was real pretty this caught my eye this is a pendant and it's glass lovely lovely piece of glass um on ribbon um yeah i thought that was really pretty so i grabbed that very simple very elegant well this is a really interesting piece these are beads glass beads stones um yeah it's all glass and stone really nice really nice um this is a bracelet <laughs> i'm sorry my brain just is not working today <laughs> real pretty i liked it <laughs> i liked it oh i didn't take these out of the bag sorry about that you guys these are really cool simple little earrings um whether they're real copper or not i don't know i haven't even tested with a magnet or anything so but i thought they were simple and cute um <clears throat> let's go into this we already know about the blue <clears throat> it's avon piece and it's just stunning this is actually called shimmering y <clears throat> light rose look how pretty this is i just love that and it too has its extender included so pretty so pretty all the stones are present really nice 
Christmas in Ohio. I couldn't resist them. They were just gorgeous. Look at how pretty these are. I could not resist them. Could not resist them. These came out of my own treasure house. And I've had them for a long time. They're definitely vintage. Um, they're clip-ons, actually. Yeah. Pretty cool, aren't they? Fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, this came out of my own treasure house. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And he's actually made in Korea. So he's he's been around for a long time. I've had him for a long time. Um, I remember getting this in a little box of jewelry that a girlfriend gave to me years ago. Years ago. I was like 10 or 11. So that's how long I've had that. Okay, moving on. We have these multicolored earrings, dangly earrings. Very cool. My jewelry friend gave these to me in that lot of jewelry. I love these. I want to keep them myself, but I've already got enough. I don't need any more. I'm cleaning out my own jewelry box. Um, these, I love these. <clears throat> They're enameled. So pretty. These came out of my own... Um, treasure house as well i did not find a mark on them marking but um they're really pretty um let's see oh let me show you this guy isn't he cute he's so cute i love that little sun face house pins by lucinda and if you google that you'll find lots of different house pins so I was really excited to find this. I'm going to be on the lookout for more. I think it's very adorable. <laughs> Christmas time again. <laughs> These were really pretty. I could not resist them. Could not resist them. And they are posts as well. And I just could not pass them up. They were so pretty. Let's see. Oh, let me show you this. This is gorgeous. This is from my jewelry friend. Glass beads. They were so hard to photograph. Let me tell you. I kept getting such an awful, awful glare. But look at this. This is actually blown into the glass. It's not painted on. I thought it was painted on, but this is actually part of the bead itself. Oh, come on, dude. Focus for me, would you? Thank you. I was like, what? How beautiful are these beads? Just, just magnificent. So pretty. Okay, what's next? Oh, I got a ring. This came from my jewelry friend. And I think that's an opal. But the, the metal is actually marked. Um, I haven't looked at it with a loop, though. I will do that when I'm listing it, putting in the detail. But the stone is in there with adhesive. And I'm not sure if it's the original stone or not because it doesn't look like it's the right size. And I apologize for my phone getting so blurry all the time. Is he not the cutest thing in the world? Is he soapstone? I, I don't know. I don't think so. But isn't he the cutest little thing? He's weighty, too. I don't know if he's a paperweight or not. But I thought he was just so cute. Somebody who loves owls. And he's intact. I mean, he's not chipped or anything. Is he made from stone? Maybe. Maybe he's not ceramic or anything like that. This is beautiful. This is really pretty. I just um, listed a, a similar necklace, but... It was gold tone. This is actually 925 silver. Really nice. Really, really pretty. Okay, those of you who like to go on yachts, <laughs> yachts, cruises, your passport's there, your bag is packed, you've got your anchor. You only need a couple more if you want a couple more or not. But I thought this was pretty cute. <laughs> This came out of my own treasure house, too, by the way. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a conundrum. 
I'm not sure about this. This is an, obviously it's a, a charm necklace. Um, but it is marked 925 silver, but the chain is gold. So I'm not sure about that. Not sure what to do about that. If I should separate them or if I should just keep them together. This came from my jewelry friend as well. So I haven't made that decision yet. This is a fun piece. This I came across in my travels. This is a brooch. It's unmarked, but it's definitely mid-century because of these. I, I remember this kind of thing back when I was a kid in the 70s. And this is shell, and then this is a gold tone, gold tone metal. I love this. It's so cool. <laughs> Speaking of cool, check these out. Oh, baby. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. I love these. I love these. I just love these. They're so neat. Even the backs are neat. But, um, yeah, these are earrings. These are like my favorite earrings. They did not come from my uh, from my treasure house. They came from my travels. But, boy, oh, boy, they are like my favorite earrings out of this whole group so far. This is cool. I've got other jewelry sets that are very similar to this, except I have earrings to go with it. Um, this is red jasper, if I'm not mistaken, and it's got the barrel closure, but, um, usually comes with, uh, I've seen these sets with, um, earrings. I have a white set, which I lost one of the white earrings. Oh, I could kill myself. And then I've got a turquoise set and I've got, um, a black, probably hematite or malachite set with um, the earrings to match, same with the turquoise set. So I was kind of excited to find that. I wish I could have found earrings to go with it, but so be it, it's beautiful anyway. This was really cool. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how this is, but um, it's like nylon thread. If you can see that, it's like a nylon thread ribbon. And then these are all various beads glass beads, wooden beads. Um, this is like a, a pottery kind of a bead. Aren't they cool? These are just really neat. Uh, and then the closure is a button, a shell type of a button. It's really a pretty button too. And there's ways that you can um, shorten it up too. So you can make it shorter, you know, in different various um, places here with the button. But I just think this is so neat. Let me put it on a different background so you can see. I just think this is just really a neat piece. I don't know. I, I'm just, it's very unique. I've never seen anything like that. And what do you know? We're all done. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there you have it, everyone. Those are the items that are uh, drafted and ready to go, and I'll be working on those over the next couple of days. So if there's anything that you saw in what I was showing you, feel free to contact me and let me know, you know, if there's something that you really want or if you need me to show more of those items. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you. I, I love doing this. This is so fun, you guys. <laughs> thanks treasure tribe and if you've never been here before welcome and i hope that you subscribe um and if you have been here before thank you for coming back again and uh keeping with me <laughs> through thick and thin oh by the way speaking of thick and thin these are new glasses i can see everything now i couldn't see anything before they were so bad they were seven years old who keeps glasses for seven years? This one. <laughs> anyway, so these are great. I can see zenny.com, by the way. I'm not like affiliated with them or anything, but zenny.com. And it's a good deal. It was like 120 bucks. 
you can't find that anywhere. So I think I learned about Zenny through um, Catherine on Do It, Do it On A Dime. I think that's how I found out about Zenny.com. So anyway, I'll link her as well. She doesn't need any more subscribers. She's got like millions, billions, and billions of people subscribed to her, but she's got great videos. Okay, everyone, I think that's it. Is that it? That noise in the background, if you hear it, is my dog digging in our carpet. He's like, I don't know where he's going. He can't go anywhere. <laughs> what you doing over there, sugar? Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching and bye. Sorry for wasting time. <laughs> Have a good one.